Hello again, we will be building a few sections off of the Saddle website. Uh, of course, I will not focus on any technical details like this uh, 3D carousel over here because we want to focus more on the structure of Saddle and not on technical details like this. So we will be building the top part of this hero section and then this three column section and then this two column section. I just cloned here a new Saddle project and immediately we'll just delete this. Let's remove the dark combo class over here and let's select the section and immediately let's get into building this. So in the container, I want a div block. This would be a text wrapper. Let's give this a max width of 860. And we have to set this here. By the way, I'm using the Timo 3x Chrome extension to just convert the pixels to rems by just hitting space. I will leave a link to this in the description. And then here I can add the utility align center. Inside of this, we will add the H1 and we will just, I'll just copy this from the design. And then we have uh, some small text. I'm going to put a paragraph for that and I'll just paste it in here. And now let's start doing some more styling. This is a title, so I will give it a title wrapper class. And I want this to be a bit bigger, uh, not large. Maybe let's go with a new one. Let's call it this medium. Let's make this two rems. And then we're going to go to the section. I will remove this class and we'll call this home hero. Because this is a quite a unique section that will not really be used anywhere else. So we're okay with calling it that. Let's give it a background of accent and text. Let's go with white. Let's make sure this has the correct color. Let's actually turn this into just a regular text block. There we go. And this is pretty much done. The only thing we're missing is the carousel, but like I said, I won't be covering that in this video. Let's just make sure this is like minimum height 100 VH and maybe let's center this a little bit. Okay, let's move on to the next section. I'm just going to insert a section, give it a class of section. I'll insert a div block, give it a class of container. Container and then we would put in a div block. Let's put an H2 in here. And this we will say we deliver results. And this will actually have a class of H4. So it's important to make here the distinction of styling and tag. So we are using the H2 tag because that is the hierarchy of the headings, but we are styling with an H4 because that is the size that we need. On the div block, I will put the class of title wrapper and then I will put another div inside the container and this one will have the class of grid calls and this would be a three grid, three column grid, sorry. And in here we will make our cards. So I'm just going to put a card here and this is where you don't use utility classes anymore. You can just use your own classes. So I'm just going to call this card. I'll put an image in here. And I've already added these images, so we could just go to the assets and select an image. Then I will put a text block. And I'll actually put another text block. This one will say this. And the top one will just have a number. This number is an H2. And this text has text extra large. And I will actually put these two in the same div like that. And then there's a few ways you can do this. You can either make this a flex vertical and justify between, and then you can give some kind of minimum height that will make them be far enough. Or in a similar way, we can also just put some uh, gap. So I'm going to put here a rem. 
uh, I'm going to do a line left to make sure this image becomes smaller. But generally, what we should do is uh, wrap this image in a div, give it some class like card logo, and this image should have a class of image so that it always uh, covers the whole container. And I'll actually make it contain because even if it doesn't perfectly fit the container, I want it to still be visible at all times and I'll, I don't want it to be clipped in any way. So in the card logo will have a height of two rem just to make sure everything is the same. We will give this a border radius uh, of card. Looks like I already did. And that's pretty much the card. Let's make this into a component really quick. I'm gonna call this a card. Let's give this a property of image. Let's make this a property of number. It is not multi-line. Let's turn this text into text, sure. And there we go, we have a component. I will duplicate this and let's start replacing the content. I'm putting here the content of the other three cards, two cards, sorry. And you get the point, I'm not gonna change the text of the other two. And that's it, we have it. I think this is just needs to be bigger. Yeah, that's the second section. Let's build one more section. Again, section with a class of section, then a div with a container, and then add another div, and this would be the title wrapper again. Let's make it larger already. H2, uh, what we offer. And this will have a class of H4. And then we have a div block. This will be grid calls again. But this time we'll just keep it like this. And I will have a div. Let's call this an offer class. Uh, sorry, card. And this would be very similar to the one above, but wider. So in here, we could maybe use H3 to define the content of each card. And for here, we'll say marketing sites. And this would actually be an H5. And then we will have a paragraph. And I'm just going to copy this from the design. And now we can start styling this card. Let's give it some padding. And then let's give it the border radius of cards from the variable that we have. Uh, the background color should be surface two. And then we'll just to make it flex vertical. Let's have some space between them. I'll do one rem. And then I'll just increase the bottom padding by two. And there we go. We also have an icon in the original design. So let's put an image here. Let's call this icon. And as always, we wrap the images in a div. And this will be an offer card underscore icon. Let's make sure that our offer card has position relative. And then this icon should be absolute ram from the top and one ram from the right and i think that's a little small let's do large that looks more like it and now we just have to add the icons i have this icon already uploaded so let's add this and now we can turn this into component again so let's call this offer card i will link the title here and the paragraph and then the icon
and there we have it we just gotta duplicate this a few times and that's it and this is the introduction for most of how the layout works now we didn't do a very custom layout because in that case you just instead of grid calls you just add your own class and you do whatever you want with the layout but this is how we make common layouts that we see in almost every site and hopefully this should give you a good idea of how we use components and how we use different elements that Webflow gives us in order to build quickly and if you want to see more builds make sure to let us know below so that we know what to do with our next videos.